welcome back to my channel today I am going to do some swatches for you on some bomb cosmetics products that I received when I went to the style haul meetup with fashion by Ali and Ali's so nice you guys I had such an amazing time there I went to go visit my family up north in um, San Jose and there was this meetup that happened in San Francisco so I was so lucky to be able to go it kind of worked out really well with my schedule so I wanted to share with you, I've never actually tried the Balm eyeshadows before. Um, I have a ton of the Balm blushes. As you know, I use the concealer that I absolutely love, um, the foundation, two different, actually two different types of concealers that I have. Um, I have some mascara from them, um, bronzer, setting powder. So I have a lot of products that I really do love from the Balm Cosmetics, but I've never actually tried one, their nail polish, and also their eyeshadows. So we received these little goodie bags from going to the meetup with Fashion by Ali, and I wanted to tell you and show you guys just a few of the things that I did receive so that I could swatch some things for you. They gave us this awesome nail polish. It's called Hot Ticket uh, Nail Polish, and this color is Pink or Swim. It's a hot pink corally color. I haven't tried this yet, but I've heard a lot of good things from some of the girls that actually went to the meetup and tried this on. What was most exciting that we got to do there, besides meeting everybody, which was amazing, I met so much, uh, so many awesome girls and vloggers and bloggers and Instagrammers and what? we got to make our own palette with the eyeshadows and um, first we got to choose our palette our nine pan palette and then I'll insert some pictures of what the setup looked like you got to go through and pick each pan and the pans come in a little um, paper thing there pick the colors that you want and then you can pick the the palette that you want and of course I chose this one right here that says San Francisco they have a lot of different mix and match eyeshadow palettes and I'll open this up for you and you can see it has like this really large mirror and my nine eyeshadows that I did pick out and I'm going to swatch these all for you but isn't this so cute the colors on these eyeshadows they don't have or the eyeshadows don't have color names they have color numbers and the palette itself is really neat because it's um, magnetic. First of all, it's magnetic, so the pans fit right into it. And it has this little, like, hole that you could stick your finger in and just pull, pull the shadow right out without damaging the pan and nicking your shadow. So I really appreciate that. And it has um, a magnet inside to keep the shadows all in nice and secure so I really do like that the quality of the shadows are really nice they are and just the softness and butteriness of these eyeshadows is just amazing there's minimal fallout they blend so well um, there's a couple that are a little bit powdery but you just have to work with them so I'm gonna go through all of these nine shadows and swatch them for Let's you start off with just the top row these are in no particular order this is number 23, and this color is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Well, it almost is. It's a shimmery blue color. Really gorgeous. So this next color is number 28. And when I first saw this color, I immediately thought of the color Sketch from MAC. And, and as soon as I came back to L.A., I went and pulled out my sketch from MAC and put them next to each other and no they are not dupes. And the next color in my palette is number 7 and this one is just the prettiest champagne shimmery color. Oh, it's so pretty. This is the I have this on my brow bone right now. It's just a gorgeous champagne color. That's perfect. I, you always need one of those in your palettes, right? This color that's in the palette right here is number four, and this is a very pretty neutral. Um, it's not quite so shimmery, but it does have a sheen to it. It's a light pink color. Really pretty color. Gorgeous color to blend in your crease, but also to do on your lid. 
Next color that's in my palette is going to be this brown color that I chose. And of course I had to pick a brown color for a crease color. This is a number 37. And such a soft and pigmented, ultra, ultra pigmented brown. But so soft that it can easily blend into a, your crease and build up the color. It has just a hint of a some gold in it, almost like a gold brown, but it's just, it's so gorgeous. This color here is this really pretty gold yellow color, and this is number 12. Oh, yeah. I'm just in love with all of these shadows. I don't know if you could tell, but this color is, oh, it's so pretty. Look at this golden yellow. Oh my goodness. Just gorgeous. It is so pretty. And it's so soft. You can see there is a little on the pan when I swatch it. There is some powderiness here on the pan, but that's just, you know, you want to be careful and make sure you tap off your brush to get rid of any excess. It doesn't have so much like the, like, flex, but it does have this, like, sheen of gold. It's just so... What I have on my lower lash line is this teal color, and this is number 43, and I need more fingers. Oh, the minute I swatched this at the Balm store, I needed it in my life. It is so pigmented, it has so much color, it's just the prettiest teal. If you notice like them together, this number 23, which is more of like that, it has a sheen to it, it almost has like a green blue sheen, the 43 color. It's it a is little deeper in color, but ugh, it's so pretty. The shadow that I have on my palette is this purple shadow, it's number 33. I, ugh, this shadow is deceiving because when you first look at it, you're like, it's purple. So if you look at it, it has like this really pretty blue, purple, almost iridescent duochrome feel to it. It's so pretty. This one is a little bit powdery because it's super pigmented. So again, you know, you just have to be careful with your brushes, tap off any excess, and you won't get any fallout. I have this also right in the corner of my lower lash line with the teal color on the outer corner. No fallout whatsoever. I didn't have to wipe anything. So the last color that's in my palette is this one right here, which is number 32. And this is a beautiful taupe color. It is a shimmer, shimmery taupe, and I'll put this right next to that champagne and the pink so you can see the difference between these. You can see this is what it looks like. It is just so pretty, this gorgeous taupe color, perfect for your eyelid, but also if you just wanted to wear it alone, just brush it and blow it out in your crease, that would be a pretty color every day wear color. I'm really impressed. The gorgeous colors. It was so hard to pick just nine of these, but I'm really happy with the ones that I did choose. I had a really great experience putting this together, meeting all the girls, and um, meeting people from the Balm and talking about their brand of cosmetics. I love that it's local. It's originated from the Bay Area, so I was even more happy about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on any of these eyeshadows or any other Balm Cosmetics products. I will try to answer you as much as I can. And I love each and every one of you. Okay. I will talk to you later and see you next time in my next video. Bye, guys. 28, and this one right here is... This one, this one right here is number 28, and this one right here is... No. This one right here is number 28, and this on the top is sketch, so you can see it.